Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing what I think are the best of Amazon beauty products. I have a great range of products that I cannot wait to share with you. These are my core favorite items, so let's get right into it. Okay, to start this video off, it wouldn't be a best of Amazon beauty, in my opinion, if I didn't start this out with a incredible, affordable lip combo. So the combo that I have on right now, it's from Peripera. It is the Ink the Velvet. And the shade that I have on in particular is 17. It's the shade Rosy Nude. It is like a your lip but better type color. And I'm always searching as a professional makeup artist, especially, I'm always searching for those type of lip colors that are universally flattering. This one has the perfect mix of pink and neutrals. It looks so gorgeous on so many different people. This shade is like a perfect natural nude. It's not like concealer nude where your lips are washed out and you look like you just maybe need some vitamin D and some sun. This is like a really healthy looking nude. These are such an incredible deal on Amazon. You could get them for such an affordable price. I was first introduced to this brand Peripera by one of my friends who had mentioned that they were an amazing, like long lasting lip stain that had fantastic colors. So then I did my own research and I looked them up on Amazon and they have over 33,000 positive reviews on their lip products, 33,000, that's a ton. Not only that, they sell 15 bottles of these every minute. That's mind blowing. So I'm so excited to share that Peripera has partnered with me on this video because I have been a fan of these products since my friend introduced them to me. They are super smooth. They're super creamy and buttery on your lips. They don't feel dry. Like most lip stains can feel really dry. I wear these to work. They last me so long. Now, the way I like to use these is I like to layer them. So to make them more long lasting, what I do is apply just a little bit of whatever leftover foundation or concealer I have on my beauty sponge. I just lightly dab that onto my lips just to kind of cancel out any pigmentation I have in my lips naturally. This is gonna act like a little bit of a base and a primer for your lip product to go on top. You could also pair this with a lip liner that's one to two shades darker than the lip product. I like to wear it with both. I like to either pair with a darker lip liner or I pair it with the rosy nude color that matches it perfectly. And it just, it's a foolproof way every single time. It looks so beautiful. Another great tip to make this longer lasting and just to make it look overall smooth is make sure you're applying this on exfoliated and dry lips. So don't put this on top of like a lip balm or a chapstick or anything like that. Just make sure you have nice dry lips. They're exfoliated and your outcome will be super long lasting and super smooth and beautiful. So a tip I like to use when I'm applying this is I like to apply one coat first. I let it dry down for 30 seconds. Then I wipe off the excess product. It's just a little bit that's gonna come off on a tissue. And then I reapply. This gives me more of a lip stain that is extremely long lasting. So when I go to work and I have my lipstick on, if I do it in this order, it stays on and stays put so well. Lastly, what I love about these is they're multifunctional. I love a multifunctional product, especially for myself when I'm on the go or my makeup kit. You can use these as a lip stain, a cheek stain, and on the eyes. Now, if you don't want your lips to be more on the matte finish, you can always top it with the clear lip gloss. I love the clear lip gloss from Peripera. It's non-sticky. It feels really comfortable on my lips, and it's also really long-lasting. Not only are Peripera products super affordable, they're also super accessible because they're on Amazon. And also, they're going to be on sale, so don't forget to shop Peripera's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. Now, there are so many beauty items that I buy on Amazon on a regular basis, like on a monthly basis, I am restocking certain products. So let me get into the ones I restock the most frequently. The first product that I restock the most frequently on Amazon is my AOA Pop Up Sponges. I give these away to each of my client after I do their makeup for sanitation purposes. These are just the best sponges you can buy. They're so affordable. I only have five in my pack because I just recently gave away one to a client, but to show you this bag that you normally come with six and for 10 bucks, you get six sponges. You could also, if you want to get like really crafty and really save some money and really make them last even longer, you cut them in half. I've seen someone do this on Instagram recently and they were giving them away to their brides or their bridal clients. Genius idea. I don't do that. Maybe I will someday. I don't know. I just haven't done that yet, but they're just fantastic sponges. 10 bucks, you get six of them. I'm constantly, constantly buying these on Amazon. The other thing that I'm constantly buying on Amazon is probably not gonna be another surprise here. It's the black powder puffs. The black ones are my favorite. They just look sleek and nice. These I also give away to my client after each use. So I don't keep them. I don't wash them. I give them away to my clients after I've used them on them. But so I found this pack. This is a different pack than what I normally was purchasing. Normally I was purchasing ones that come just like a plastic bag. These come in like a nice little plastic container. So it's nice to keep them in my makeup kit. It just keeps them from getting smashed and, and wrecked in my kit. So my kit is like so much stuff tightly packed into a big luggage and this just keeps them nice and safe. But the other thing that I discovered that is so genius. So when I'm doing touch-ups on the go for my clients or if I'm giving them a sponge and I want them to like put it in their handbag for 
when they're on the go, like usually for like evening events and things like that, if I'm not with them all day, these little plastic containers keep the powder from getting all over your other products, like your like inside your bag. So it keeps them clean, more sanitary, but it'll also keep the things around your powder puff from getting powder on them. So these little individual plastic containers are genius. They just keep your powder puff after they've been used, especially so much more sanitary because they're not just rolling around in your makeup bag with the powders on it, getting everything dirty and, and filled with powder. So it's just way more sanitary to keep them dust free and away from like just the elements and keep them in this little container. So genius, I've stocked up on these. They're such a nice little luxury to be able to like hand this off to a client if you're a working makeup artist. And then they know that like their powder puff is gonna be clean. It's not gonna get on their nice handbags and things like that. So these I've been stocking up on constantly. Going back to an item that I restock in my professional makeup kit constantly, absolutely constantly. So it's been a couple of years of me trying to figure out what like the best eye patches are to use on my clients. They're not gonna slip. They're gonna help to really reduce puffiness to help soothe the under eye. And they're just gonna stay put and really just soothe the under eye area the most. These are them. So these are from the brand Skin Iceland. These are by far the best. And I could tell you with like great confidence, I've tried probably close to like every single eye patch that is on the market on Amazon, in you know, Sephora and like high end, low end. I've tried them all. These are a little bit pricier. I'm just gonna warn you, but I have to tell you and be really honest, these are by far worth every penny. They really help to firm your under eyes and deep puff within minutes. Like honestly, within minutes. And every time I put these on my clients, I don't use them on myself because I just never take the time to do things like that for myself to be really real with you. But on my clients, every time I put them under their eyes, they're always like, oh, thank you. Like it just feels so nice. It's so soothing. If they've had a long night before and they have a big day ahead of them, I need to do that extra bit of deep puffing and soothing before I go in with their makeup application. And these are just the ticket. They're so fantastic. So again, a little bit pricier. You get them on Amazon. I buy them. I probably replenish these like every two, three weeks in my makeup kit. That's how often I go through them. But there is nothing like these. They're also, one more note, they're much bigger in size than normal eye patches. So they really cover your entire under eye area. There's nothing left out that's not getting that deep puffing and that firming and that moisturization that you want, it covers that entire eye area and it doesn't slip. That was the other thing, just getting eye patches that don't slip and fall down your face as you're doing a makeup application, they don't exist, but these are the best for that. So highly recommend these. Also, if you're like a bridal makeup artist, definitely get these for your brides. Okay, another product that I buy on Amazon constantly that I run out of constantly because I just use them so much. This one might look different from the one that I normally use and talk about. It's the Garnier Micellar Water. This one's a gentle peeling water. So this one I don't use every single day. I normally go between this one and my favorite one, which you know is like the hyaluronic acid one. It comes in like a turquoise bottle. That one is my holy grail. Holy, holy grail. In fact, that's in my Amazon cart right now because I need to get another one and restock up on that. But this is a newer one that I'm alternating between my favorite one and this one. This one, again, is like more of a gentle exfoliating one. So I don't use this every single time I take my makeup off. But if you know me and you know like what my nighttime skincare routine is, I always use a micellar water to break down a lot of layers of makeup because I'm always filming. I'm always touching up. I'm always wearing lots and lots of makeup. And this is just my favorite way by far to melt that first layer off my skin to kind of get that job done in a quicker, more efficient way. And then I go on with the cleanser. But these are just always being replenished on Amazon. They're always in my cart and I highly recommend these for my Sir Water. These are just my favorite brand to use. And then going into another product that I restock constantly because this is probably one of my favorite sunscreens I've ever tried in my entire life. This sunscreen from Biore, it's the UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus PA++++. This is like one of my all-time favorite sunscreens, especially when I'm wearing it under makeup, which is always, I always wear my sunscreen under makeup. There's really... I don't ever think I have, especially lately, I don't think I have a day that I'm not wearing makeup. And that is because between working on set as a makeup artist and then filming content, I always have makeup on. I just always do. So me in particular, I always look for sunscreens that work well underneath makeup. That's like the biggest selling point for me. This one not only works amazing under my makeup, it never pills. It feels lightweight. It feels like nothing. It feels like a watery gel. Like it doesn't feel like a thick, heavy sunscreen. It doesn't add any shine to my makeup. Instead, it acts like a nice lightweight base for my makeup to go on top. But not only that, okay, if those weren't selling points enough, it's super inexpensive. It's like, depending on like which seller you buy it from on Amazon, because there's different sellers that sell products. This one, it ranges between, I think $11 to $13 max. It is just such a fantastic sunscreen. I buy this constantly on Amazon. It's always in my cart. It's always like in the suggested part of my shopping cart where it's like, buy again. Do you need to replenish? Do you need to buy this again? And I always need to buy it again. So 
a fantastic, inexpensive, lightweight sunscreen. You will not be disappointed if you try this one. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears from like products to things I absolutely love that I've purchased on Amazon. One is this case, it's a travel makeup case. It has a mirror inside and it also has a light. So this lights up. So if you're in a hotel room or if you're on the go, typically I take this when I'm like traveling for work and I'm in hotel rooms where the hotel room lighting is just really rough. This adds some extra light to help me see what I'm doing, see what I'm doing with my makeup. And I actually took out some of the dividers. This comes with a lot more dividers than you see right now. I took out like I think half of them because I just wanted more space to be able to pack my products in. It's sturdy, it's a little bit heavy. So once you fill it up, it does get a little bit heavier. Just something to keep in mind when you're traveling and you're factoring in like your luggage weight. But this helps keep my makeup secure. It helps keep things from breaking and just shifting around while I'm traveling in the air. It keeps them nice and safe. So I've been absolutely loving this case. Let's switch gears to something really random, okay? Really random, but beauty related. And something that my friend Susan Yara turned me on to probably like over a year ago at this point. These are nipple covers. And I won't get into the details of like why I use them and why I need them, but just know that if you know, you know, okay? And if you know, and if you ever struggle with that kind of situation when you're wearing certain tops or dresses or whatever you're wearing and you just want to minimize the look of certain things, if you know what I mean, these are the best ones on the internet. Again, my friend Susan Yard introduced me to these and I bought them immediately, immediately. They're a larger size than what normal nipple covers look like. I'm just gonna give you like a little detail of why these are so magical, okay? Normal nipple covers are really small and you see them. You just see the outline. These are much bigger. They actually are like the size of this whole box. So they cover up the whole area. If you get what I'm saying, so then you don't see the outline of nipple covers, which is embarrassing. It's almost worse than just not wearing them. You know what I mean? And like having your nipples just out and about free, it's almost worse to have like the silhouette that you're trying to cover them. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about and you feel my pain, please leave me a comment so I don't feel like I'm alone on this ship. But these are amazing. They're the best ones out there, in my opinion. They're on Amazon and I don't leave home without these. Last but not least, I could go on forever about my Amazon beauty must-haves, but these are like really my true core essentials. Now I have to include this light. This is from the brand new Moa. So it's got this little clip on it and it clips onto your phone. So when you're taking pictures or selfies or any kind of photos at night where you need that extra like brightness and light, this light is a game changer. I take this to events with me all the time. I take this on travel jobs. I take this on set with me, with my clients. I'm about to travel and take this with me for some nighttime events so I can take some good photos of my clients and their makeup. It's a fantastic light. It's only 35 bucks roughly. And it gives off a natural, like very well balanced amount of light, like a very well balanced temperature with your light, which is very important. It's not too cool and it's not too warm where it's gonna shift the colors and the tones of your makeup. So that is crucial to me. As a makeup artist, I have to have a light that doesn't alter the appearance of the makeup I just did. That's just crucial. So again, you can adjust the brightness to make it very, very bright, or you can dim it way, way down, depending on what you need. But do yourself a favor, if you take photos of your makeup, and if you're ever in varying lighting situations where you need some extra light, get this. So that wraps up this video of what I consider to be the best of Amazon beauty. These were some of my absolute favorites. These are my core items that I cannot live without. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your best of beauty items are that you pick up on Amazon. And tell me if you plan on getting any of these items in the future. Leave me a comment. I would love to talk to you all. If you like videos like this where I share things that I love, you can check out more right here. Give this video a thumbs up if you love to shop your beauty products on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.